Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Why such a low-end graphics card in such a high-end build? We fully intended to go with a higher-end graphics card. However, when unboxing this, unfortunately, we didn't look at the exact graphics card it was, and it has a water block built in. Now this graphics card right here, the Red Devil, seems to be the only graphics card we have that has an air cooler left on it. Let's continue. So there you have it guys, a bit of a different video for you all today. We ended up using an all-in-one cooler which we haven't used for quite a while. Now we try and get a water-cooled PC build out for you guys once per week. There's a lot of work that goes into our builds. This week we decided we would take some time to learn our new camera. We ended up getting the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K and I've since learned a lot of editing and filming techniques over this past week which has helped us to hopefully up our quality. Before with our Panasonic GH5, we used to overexpose a lot of of images. I wasn't color grading properly or color correcting properly. I didn't know to use zebras or false colors to show overexposed images. In Premiere Pro I didn't know that we had all of these tools to help us see that our images and video is overexposed. And to be honest on our monitor our images didn't look overexposed but that's because all monitors aren't the same so a lot of you guys may have experienced our videos being very overexposed. When it comes to video and video editing we don't know a lot. However I have spent this past week just to test this new camera and try and learn as much as I could. Now I wanted to make this build as a bit of a practice run for our video editing with the new camera. Now I know all of our video editing for this very video is probably not perfect and I know a lot of you guys out there who do know photography and video editing know that there's probably a color that's blown out here or there and so that's why we're practicing. Now video editing and photography is a very subjective matter. Personally I could like a bit more contrast than what someone else would like. Just like how some of you guys may like the look of one of my builds but may not like the look of another. Just like I'm sure a lot of you guys don't like some of the music used in this video. I personally do. So it's a very subjective matter but it's something that we're trying to learn and incorporate into the videos a lot more especially with a new camera and I've found it very exciting. So if you do have any video editing, photography or video shooting tips please let me know in the comments below. Uh, right now we are practicing a lot trying to perfect our footage. Hope you all enjoy this. Now I did realize that what I've been doing in my previous videos is also lighting up the background quite a lot and that also drained out a lot of the colors. You might notice that when we filmed PCs, the colors of the fans and everything were drained out and were looking more whiter than 
you know, the color that they should have been. Anyway, I don't want to take away too much of your time. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, consider subscribing. Also, we have Patreon. The link is in the description. It really helps us out. It enables us to keep doing these PC builds for you guys weekly, or you can become a YouTube channel member. I'll leave those links in the description, and I'll also leave the specs in the description if you are interested in finding out more. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next one.